Hello friends, welcome to Good Hacker Digital Tutorial. Here we are going to solve zigzag conversion coding problem. The string paper is hiding, is written in a zigzag pattern on a given number of rows like this. You may want to display this pattern in a fixed form for better legibility. So paper is hiding. This is zigzag pattern. So see the like read the character in vertical direction first and then slope and uh, there's a vertical direction again. So read line by line. So this output a new zigzag pattern string. So new zigzag pattern string is still read like uh, from row by each character by each character. So write the code that will take a string and make this conversion given a number of rows. So we need to implement this function named convert return the string data type and takes the input of the string like uh, not just this paper is hiding but for any string also an uh, integer value of the n number of those as an input so like a n number of those means the maximum number of those for each vertical column like this is a three here so if we call this word paper is hiding three function should return this is new zigzag pattern string. So from this coding problem, we can tell this is a coding problem from PayPal. So if we look at the early history of the uh, internet, we will find that PayPal is also like a um, legendary company, like uh, notably the founders here, like Elon Musk, Peter Thiel. So those are like influential people in internet uh, industry. So we can think of this interesting coding problem. Maybe at the early age of the PayPal, those guys come up with these uh, coding problems and they want to test a uh, job candidate's uh, intelligence and the coding skill. So we are here to take this challenge and try to solve this coding problem. So to solve this zigzag coding problem, so we are going to first find the underlying pattern logic behind this zigzag format. So here we have this paper is hiding zigzag format string. So here I'm going to first draw the index of the origin index of the paper is hiding at the left side of this each character. So from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then I'm going to draw the new index, like uh, what's the index of each character in the new zigzag format string. So it's from read from the row by each character. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So to find the solution for this zigzag pattern, so we need to find the relationship between the old index and the new index. So at the left side of each character, this is the old original string index of, its, uh, of this character. And at the top is a new index in the new zigzag format string. So we need to find a relationship. So here I'm going to introduce two concepts. So one is called intervals. Interval. And another one is called step. So interval and step are two concepts will help us to understand the logic behind the zigzag format string to understand like the what's the relationship between like two characters. So what is the interval? So see here, we see here like there's a vertical columns in zigzag format. So there are four vertical columns for this example. And we call this the distance between two vertical columns is an interval. interval. So the value for the interval 
is just a, the index of the next column minus the previous column. So there's a 4 minus 0, and the 8 minus 4, and the 12 minus 8. So we see this for this example, the interval between two vertical columns is just 4. So if we are doing an experiment, like from 1, 2, 3, 4, to n, like draw this zigzag pattern to some, do some experience many times, we were going to find that, and we are going to find that from the observation that there's a relationship between this interval value and the number of those. That's number of those for this example, like is a three. So the relationship is a two n minus two. So for this example, number of those three, so two multiplied by three minus two, that's a four, is equal to the interval value. So if you increase the number of those, we will get the corresponding interval value. So next, the step. Step is a concept we are going to uh, refer to the distance between the vertical column and some middle characters. For some those, like here, for this, this index one though, that uh, there's a P, S, and I here. This is a middle characters between two vertical columns. So we call this a distance between vertical column and the middle character. We call this as a step. So step, the value is um, also the index difference, like 3 minus 1, that's 2, 7 minus 5, that's 2, that's 11 minus 9, that's also 2. So step, so step has some relationship with the interval. So interval minus 2i. So i is the index of rho. So interval minus 2i will get the step. Like for this index 1 though, so we know this example that the interval is 4. Minus 2 multiply 1, that's 2. So step would be 2. And the step is in range between 0 and the interval. So if the step value is equals to 0 or interval, that basically means that there's no middle characters between two vertical columns. So we don't need to display that middle characters. So here we know that this is a valid range. So if within this range, and we are going to display these middle characters. And we also notice that if we are at the end of the vertical column, last vertical columns, if we, we will not have the middle characters. So that's also our H case. So with these two concepts, interval and step, we already understand the logic behind the zigzag pattern. We know the relationship like, um, with the number of those. So we can generalize our algorithm. So for our algorithm, because we are still going to display this string by those, by characters, so we are going to, for each though, So we are going to try to visit each vertical column. So we are going to for each column. And if there's a vertical column between each vertical column, if there's a, like a middle characters, we are going to display this mid middle characters. Otherwise, just display that to visit each column characters. So. That's uh, this logic. So here, we know this like idea how to solve this. So we are going to go back to the coding. So I'm going to demonstrate in Java to solve this coding problem. So first, introduce a variable called lens. So lens is just uh, to store the lens value of the origin string. 
because we are going to use this original string length value many times in this coding. So I use a integer value to store the integer variable to store this value. And first, we are going to have a age age case checks. So what is the age case check for this coding problem? So if a number of those is greater than this length, or if a number of those is this or equal to one. So what does this mean? So if that means, like if we have a number of those is a three, but we only have a length uh, input string that's just two characters, or if a number of those just one, so that basically means that we don't need to do any conversion. So we can still return this original string. So that's an H case. And then we are going to initialize a character of a array of a characters. That's a zigzag char. New char. This char array will still have a same length of the original string. So this char array, we are going to store the new zigzag pattern string characters. And we are going to store this in a char array first because it's dynamic. So we can store that first. And then we can then convert this to a string for this final output. And then we are going to have a, a count variable. So count means how many characters we already being put into this zigzag char array. And then as we just mentioned, we are going to introduce this interval variables. So interval variable has relationship with the nums of those. So that's a two multiply number of those minus two. And then we are going to do our for loop. So we are going to visit, try to display each character new zigzag string. I and for each row plus plus. And for each row, we are going to calculate the step first because step has a relationship with the row and also the interval. And then we are trying to visit each column, each vertical column um, characters. So start from i and j is less than less and the j step. So this increment is by step. So we are going to from it, visit each column to each column. So this is an interval, but it's an interval. So we are going to increase by interval, try to visit each vertical column characters. So here, like the first one. So for if you look at here, that the first character of each row is just a, like the original sequence of an original string. Like the first row of the first character is the first character of the original string. And second row, the first character is the second character of the original string. The third row, first character, is the third character of the original string. So first, here, we can do zigzag charts. That count is equal to this is the char at j. And we increase this count. And then we can have a, this if check. If there's a mid character in this row, we are going to display this mid character. So as we just mentioned, so the step should be in range. So step should be greater than zero and uh, less than the interval. And uh, if there's a nice uh, last character, we should uh, also consider should not be out of range. So if a J plus step should uh, less than the length.
and the zigzag of count should be equals to the star chart at j plus step. So that's a from each vertical column we are going to visit the next middle character. So increase that if we find one middle character. And uh, that's it. And uh, we are going to return the call this string to convert this zigzag characters back to output the final string. So we first do the edge case. If number of rows greater than the length, number of rows is less or equals to one, we just return the original string and we build a array of a characters called zigzag charts to store the each character of a new zigzag string. And we calculate the interval value based on the number of rows. And uh, we are going to iterate each row. Each row. For each row, we are going to calculate the step. Step is a use this formula. And for the each row, we are going to try to display each vertical column characters. So the first one is always a start from the J. So here, increase that if we put one. And uh, if uh, our step is in range, and uh, we are going to display a um, middle character, in uh, we are going to display and store this uh, middle character into this zigzag characters, and then. Finally, convert this uh, zigzag charts back to the string. Okay, let's click submit. Okay, cool. Accept it. So we get a right solution for this coding problem. So as you see, we are going to find the underlying um, logic, underlying patterns behind this zigzag format and we build this uh, solution. So as also uh, this interval and the step concept, I um, use this variable names because I find like uh, in music, like an uh, interval you see here, like uh, this, this uh, interval and the G and A, this is interval and the step is like uh, between these two keys. So like uh, interval is a bigger concept of the step. So sometimes, uh, like uh, in real time, uh, real life industry, the coding naming is very important. And uh, now we have uh, like a uh, meaningful names for these uh, concepts. Okay, that's all about this coding problem. So I hope you enjoy watching this. This is a good taker. So thank you for your watching and thank you for subscription to my on this YouTube channel. So let's uh, make uh, keep making progress together. So see you next time.